In this tutorial, let's focus on the TMJ uh, submodule here in the 3D imaging module of Plan Megaromexis software. So TMJ uh, submodule is a special uh, 3D submodule uh, meant for analyzing uh, the temporomandible at joint. And uh, let's start here uh, with this bigger volume that has uh, the temporomandibular uh, joints uh, visible uh, here in the Explorer submodule. So this is the default uh, submodule where all the data uh, gets opened and uh, where we can see that after uh, capturing or importing it. And firstly, if we would uh, need to align the volume first uh, a little bit because we don't have uh, all of these uh, views available uh, in the TMJ submodule. So if you would like to align, uh, rotate uh, the volume, for example, a little bit uh, here on these views uh, to get it, uh, to get uh, the orientation more uh, symmetrical, uh, we can do it here uh, in the Explorer submodule. And then uh, we could click here on this export view to other tabs. So then we would get uh, the orientation that we defined here uh, also to TMJ submodule. So let's then uh, click here uh, and select uh, TMJ. So then we get here uh, in the TMJ submodule. We wouldn't yet have these slice views here uh, if we hadn't uh, previously made uh, the TMJ uh, analysis for, for this uh, volume. So I have, and that's why I have the slice views uh, available here, but let's start uh, from the beginning. So uh, shortly about this uh, submodule, uh, this is uh, our place for creating these uh, uh, views uh, on, on both sides uh, of the volume. That, uh, that is good, uh, for example, for analyzing uh, the temporomandibular blood joints. So we can see here on the same view, uh, we can see uh, slice views on both sides uh, uh, of the volume. And uh, when we uh, start uh, redoing uh, these slices, uh, let's uh, use this uh, axial uh, view here and let's browse, browse it until uh, we can see the condyles uh, of, of the patient. And then uh, we can uh, use these tools here uh, in order to define uh, uh, these lines uh, based on which uh, the slice views are generated. So if I uh, click here on uh, draw uh, right uh, uh, posterior anterior line, I can uh, click here uh, with my left mouse button and I can drag until uh, I get uh, the direction and the length uh, that I initially want to uh, give uh, for, for my slice views. And then I can release uh, my mouse and now I got these uh, two lines uh, or two slices in this direction and then the four ones uh, here uh, perpendicular to that. Uh, but we can check later uh, how to adjust that. And uh, we could use this other tool uh, to uh, define uh, the same uh, thing for the other side. And what this uh, lock icon does here, uh, this is uh, if we want to synchronize uh, the length uh, on both sides. So if we activate the lock, uh, we can uh, have uh, the same uh, length uh, on both sides at all times. But uh, if we have deactivated the lock uh, so that it's kind of open, uh, then we can define a different length uh, that, uh, uh, on, uh, on each side. So if I uh, click here to synchronize, uh, then uh, that restricted uh, the length here on the other side. So uh, to the other side, uh, we can define uh, the same uh, lines and now we see that we can't define uh, manually that the length it's uh, synchronized uh, with the other uh, side so we can just define the orientation uh, to the lines. So if we take a look um, at these different slices uh, that have uh, been generated for us uh, we can see also if we move our mouse uh, on top of the slices uh, we can see uh, from where uh, each slice uh, was taken and uh, the color uh, helps us also uh, in this case. So we can see that currently uh, we have uh, two uh, green uh, slices here and, and we can see also the number uh, of the slice uh, next to these uh, lines here on the axial uh, view and then we see these uh, uh, four uh, red uh, slices here below uh, that are perpendicular uh, to the green uh, slices. 
and uh, symmetrically uh, we have the same uh, selection of slices on the other uh, side as well. And by the way, we can move, uh, we can use these uh, small icons here uh, in between the views uh, to change the relative sizes uh, of, of the slice uh, views. So we can uh, build the kind of view uh, that we would like to have here. And uh, we can still adjust uh, uh, from where uh, these slices were taken. Uh, so if we have this uh, tool deactivated, this move rotate volume, we can basically simply grab uh, these uh, lines here uh, on top of the condas and we can move them uh, to a more suitable uh, position uh, when needed. And then uh, the normal uh, controls for adjusting the slice views uh, apply also here. Uh, so each of these uh, uh, slice views has uh, these uh, viewport settings uh, icon next to them. So from here uh, we can define how many slices of each uh, view we want to see and that changes uh, automatically also uh, to the other side so that we always have symmetrical uh, views on both sides. So if we hover our mouse on top of this grid, uh, we can determine how many slices uh, we see. And then uh, we can also determine here uh, what is, uh, uh, what is uh, the, the width uh, of the slices. So we can use the slider here in the middle. And then we can determine uh, what is the distance uh, between the neighboring slices uh, that are displayed here and then we can adjust uh, the thickness of each uh, individual slice. So that applies uh, of course uh, to other uh, views as well. So we could adjust uh, also here uh, the width and uh, other things. And naturally uh, we can also adjust uh, the grayscale values by using these uh, sliders for contrast brightness and sharpness or we could use uh, the histogram if we would like to uh, adjust the uh, how uh, these slice views look like and then finally naturally uh, we can also move here uh, the volume uh, just normally so we can if we have activated this move rotate volume for example we can just simply grab uh, the volume on this uh, different views and we can rotate with uh, right mouse button so left uh, for moving and uh, right uh, for rotating and then uh, once uh, when we have uh, find, found here uh, uh, the anatomy that we are interested in uh, and if we would like to make some measurements naturally we have our measurement tools here uh, so we could just uh, activate here for example the measure length and then we could just uh, drag our measurement or we could make uh, annotations here and then normally uh, just like always uh, we could use this uh, snapshot icon uh, to take a, a 2D snapshot of each view uh, that is automatically saved here in the 2D imaging module for the patient or then if we would like to get a 2D view uh, or 2D image of all the views at the same time uh, we could use this uh, save 2D view so in order to uh, sort of record uh, our findings and, uh, and our annotations uh, in, uh, in 2D format or naturally uh, we could also save a uh, view uh, so we could use this save view button and get uh, this kind of uh, link here and that we can uh, click and that brings us uh, automatically uh, to uh, to the view that we had uh, saved uh, so if we want to uh, go back uh, to some uh, specific uh, view that we had uh, defined here uh, the next time when we open this patient 